the law of refractions. Eh? So the incidence and refracted rays are on opposite sides of the normal at the points of incidence, and all these three lies on the same plane. That is uh, uh, part of this is the first laws of refractions. Eh? Okay, the incident ray, the normal, and the refracted ray. These three rays, okay, lies on the same plane. And the second law of uh, refractions tell that sine i, i is the uh, angles of incidence eh? divided by sine r, r is the angles of refraction, is equal to a constant. Okay, is equal to the constant. And this one is also called the Snell's law. Okay, there are three laws of refractions. First one, uh, the incident ray, refracted ray, and normal lies on the same plane. And the second law says that sine i over sine r is equal to the constant. And this one is called the Snell's law. Eh? Snell's law. Okay, so Snell's law it states that the values of sine i over sine r is constant for the light passing from one given medium to another. The law of refractions, okay, this is the law of refractions. Eh? Okay, law of refractions, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's see these examples. Eh? These examples. So from here we can see that there's a light ray. There's a light ray move from uh, air to water. Okay, so in this case, eh, the i, eh, the angles of incidence is uh, 73.2. Eh? So sine i, sine 73.2. 2 degree, okay, divided by uh, the angles of refraction, this is R, uh, this is your R, is a 50 degree, so sine R, sine 50 degree, sine 73.2 degree divided by sine 50 degree, okay, this is good to 1.25, uh, 1.25, then let's try the second one, okay, uh, same medium, air, water, uh, air, water, same medium, but then the angles change, the angles change. This one, again, okay, the angles we reduce to 53.5. And this one becomes 40. So then we use a sine i over sine r. Sine i over sine r. And our i, i is this one, again, okay, this is i. Yeah? Okay, so this is i, i equals to 53.2, and this is r. So sine i is sine 53.5. And R is uh, 40, yeah? so sine 40, okay, degree. And by using calculator, you should get the same answer, 1.25, okay. And the third one, the third one, sine I over sine R is equals to sine 38.7 degree divided by uh, this is R, okay, sine 30 degree, okay. And you'll find that this is equals to 1.25 again. Okay, so you see, yeah, no matter how you change the directions or change the angles of incidence, okay, if you take sine i divided by sine r, you will always get the same number, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25. Okay, so uh, so sine i over sine r is equal to a constant. And this constant, this 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, okay, is labeled by using the letter N, okay, and it's called the refractive index, okay. This 1.25 is called the refractive index, okay. And this is stated in Snell's law. Snell's law says that sine i over sine r equals to a constant. Constant means that they are the same, eh? They're the same. Is this 1.25 fixed for every question? No, it's fixed for the same medium. A to water, then it's for sure 1.25. Is if A to glass, then it's it's uh it's different, okay? Or A to perspex, huh? it will be different. It's the same only for the same medium. A water is 1.25, huh? okay? Different medium, different uh, refractive index.